Self-sufficiency is an illusion, a childish desire born from pain, fear, and guilt, an attempt to run away from feelings of powerlessness in order to become strong. Think about it. How many aspects of our lives are only possible because of others? The farmers that grow our food, the contractors that build our homes, the scientists that developed the technology for us to watch YouTube videos? The idea that we can survive without anyone else is not only delusional, it toxifies our perception of reality. If we believe we're alone in our journeys, we won't let in those that worry for us. Everyone has others that worry about them, that's just the way of the world. Whether it be family, friends, or even strangers on the internet, there will always be someone made anxious for our sake. But if we hold in our issues for the sake of pride, or believing that sharing our problems would be a burden on others, we won't open up. People worry more for someone they can tell is hiding troubles than someone who shares what's bothering them. If anything, it's a relief when someone we worry about expresses their pain openly. It's a sign of trust and can become the foundation for an even more meaningful relationship. It's ironic. If we attempt not to burden others by indulging in solitude, we end up worrying them even more. When we try to survive on our own, we cut off opportunities for creating new connections and forget those connections that already exist. Holding on to our pride or guilt will only cause us and everyone else pain. Everything we gain from others, if we believe in self-sufficiency, is a debt that must be repaid. Yet, when we think like that, we forget something important. Our existence itself has value to others. Just as we, deep down, desire connection, so does everyone else. We can be what we've always craved from others for those around us, but if we're too focused on self-sufficiency, we won't see it that way. Accepting help from others and then offering our own hand when they're in need is the epitome of strength. It can be scary to open up and be vulnerable, there's fear of rejection, betrayal, abandonment. If we don't try and open up, it's true we'll have to deal with those painful experiences less. It's easier that way, running away from helplessness. After all, there's nothing we can do to stop someone from rejecting, betraying, or abandoning us. But if we don't try, we won't be able to experience that indescribable warmth and contentment. By accepting the pain and ecstasy of connection, we can move forward despite our fear. Yes, we'll get hurt, that's a part of life. We'll be rejected, backstabbed, and left behind more than once. Yet, if we try to avoid that pain, we won't know the security that comes with deep friendship, the comfort of a support network, the warmth of connection. It's in accepting every aspect of existence wholeheartedly and moving forward that we can find true strength the strength to accept the hands extended to us, the strength to extend our own hands to those that stumble. This has been Evan. Thank you for watching. Hello, person watching this video. Uh, just letting you know I have a Patreon, and uh, you could really go a long way in supporting me for as little as $1 a month. Uh, everything would really be a huge help. Once I have three patrons, I will be opening a private Discord server where all my patrons, again, for as little as $1 a month, can talk about my future content, or your favorite stories, or we can just really talk about anything. The world's our oyster. So hopefully I will see you there. Uh, either way, I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.